In today's topic, I learned something I personally didn't know before, and this is all because of a comment from a viewer. So first, I wanna thank all of you who do post positive and helpful comments that help all of us with improving our health, fitness, and longevity. Now, the question was the following. Dr. Sam, I have sleep apnea, unfortunately, and I know how bad it is for my health. I'm not even overweight. I've tried different pillows and ways to sleep. Nothing has helped. And the truth is, I really don't want to wear one of those uncomfortable CPAP masks. Do you have any suggestions? I know this is going to sound silly, but are there any vitamins and herbs or supplements that can help reduce or fix my sleep apnea? Now, when I first read this question, I thought, no way a supplement can help, right? But I never say never these days until I've done my own research because I obviously don't know everything. And you know, the truth is, the older I get, the more I learn, the more I realize how little I know and how much I don't know and how much there is to learn. So first of all, sleep apnea can be a serious sleep disorder in which basically breathing repeatedly stops and starts while you're, you know, during sleep. And if you snore loudly and feel really tired, even after a full night's sleep the next day, you might actually have sleep apnea. Now the person next to you or, you know, someone that you're sleeping with can better tell you if you may or may not have it. And yes, sleep apnea is linked to many potential health problems, such as basically feeling tired all the time and fatigued, having high blood pressure, um, heart problems, type 2 diabetes, also liver problems from fatty liver disease. And the worst of all is basically hormonal imbalances because of poor sleep, such as lower testosterone and growth hormone levels while having elevated stress levels such as cortisol hormone. And the usual causes of sleep apnea are basically being overweight. This is excess body fat or just even having lots of extra muscle. Having a large neck circumference, big neck, being a man increases your risk by 300%. Genetics is obviously a factor. If you smoke, that's another big issue. Also big issues are drugs such as sedatives, sleeping pills, alcohol, marijuana, and similar you know, CNS downers. A CPAP machine stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure Therapy. It uses a machine to help you breathe more easily during sleep. And a CPAP machine basically increases air pressure in your throat so that your airway doesn't collapse when you breathe in. And yes, they are uncomfortable and you know it takes a little bit of getting used to. However, if your doctor suggests using this, give it a try and see how you do with it, all right? Getting back to the original question of a vitamin deficiency or maybe an herbal solution. Surprisingly, there have been multiple studies showing that low and insufficient levels of vitamin D, more specifically vitamin D3, is linked to 98% of sleep apnea cases. Honestly, I was totally shocked when I read the studies on this. Listen, it's not 10% or 25% or even 50% or even 75% of cases. It's almost 100% of all cases. So if this doesn't make you want to take some vitamin D3, I don't know what would, because even if you don't have sleep apnea, studies show that actually taking vitamin D, so you have sufficient ratios and blood levels, will also help you get better sleep. I'm not done with this topic yet, but for those of you who are in a rush, always remember one thing though, that vitamin D3, D3 is the correct form, and it also needs to be taken with another potent fat-soluble vitamin, which is K2. Also, they should be taken together in the morning or daytime with a meal, not close to bedtime like before bed. More details below in the description area, as well as additional videos about this topic. However, when I actually thought deeper about this topic doing the research, I realized that this could very well make a lot of sense since vitamin D deficiency is linked to so many health problems. In fact, the main problems associated with sleep apnea that I mentioned earlier, such as you know heart and pressure and sugar and fatigue and all these problems, are all quickly improved with optimal levels of vitamin D3. As I've stated in previous videos, vitamin D is super powerful because it's technically a steroid hormone. It's not really a vitamin. As you may already know, hormones control so many aspects of how you look, feel, and perform. Of course, ideally you would do a blood test to see where your levels are, the 25-OH vitamin D3, but I found about 125 mics of D3 plus 50 mics of K2 together are about the ideal ratio and daily dose. 
Now you might think this is higher than what other people suggest or what your multivitamin gives you, but after seeing you know hundreds or probably thousands of blood tests over the past couple decades, this has produced the most optimal levels, especially if you're over the age of 35. Please leave your comments and questions below. Let me know what you've learned today and what topics you want me to cover in the future.